a heads up, heads up display it's showing craps that we're recording, and it's recording at 30 frames per second. That's pretty okay. crazy. Anyways, welcome back to Hammer's Reach. I'm Tinfoil. And I'm Estless. And we fixed the sound. Um, yeah, so the last episode, we, uh, I, I, we sort of ended it, I ended it in frustration. Um, it was impossible to find slimes. So impossible that I sort of cheated. And I'll, I'll show you after we get some stuff put together. I'll, I'll show you what happened and explain that. But back on track, getting the coke oven and the uh, blast furnace, industrial furnace, put together so we can make some steel and then get on to the next step. We're going to go ahead and get that put together. And I think Esselus is going to run around in the mines. I, I like stuff. coke, but, but not, not as much as Pepsi. Uh, yes, but some days you like coke over Pepsi, though. Yes. But those are weird days. And you take my temperature on those days. Yes, I do. Or I know what's going on. So, um, first we're going to get the blast furnace bricks together. Um, and this is a multi-block uh, device we'll see when, when we put all the blocks down. Um, we're actually going to need 36 of these, I believe. But to make them, use soul sand, nether brick, and magma cream. Magma cream was my headache from last episode. Finally found some slimes. And you arrange them like this, and you'll need nine sets to make, yeah, 36 bricks. And then I'm also going to uh, get everything together to make a coke oven. Uh, we've been finding coke randomly around in places. We haven't found any coke. Yeah, we have. We found coke in uh, the desert pyramid. And I think there was some coke in one of the uh, villages, too. I haven't found any coke. I'm still thirsty. Oh. Well, there's half of my Pepsi in the fridge. Um. Yeah. And uh, once I get done using up all... Oops. Using up all these, I'll let you know how many of these you need. I count out everything exactly. And the answer is we need... So the other thing is I've been looking for inspiration on building a metropolis in our area. And cool. I think I've got some good inspiration. Okay. It's just going to take me a lot of time to do it. Sure. Well, you know, I'm, I'm more than happy to help you out on advice and building things. Why do I have to have a job? I know. Jobs suck. Or it would be so much easier if I didn't have that pesky work thing to deal with. If only you could do, like, YouTube for a living. That would be sweet. That would be spectacular. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and slap together this Coke oven. And it's a 3x3 three three structure, so 3 wide, 3 deep. And it's also 3 tall. In fact, when you hover over them, uh, multi-block 3x3x3 three by three by three hollow. That means... The not the top layer and not the bottom layer, but the layers in between are hollow. So we're going to leave this one open here, and then we're just going to put in on top of that. And if you do it correctly, the texture for the entire thing will change. And there you go. So the center one has a window now. And if we click that, we can go in here and we can dump coal here, and it's going to create coke. And coke is basically super coal. It lasts longer, burns hotter, and uh, the reason isn't why isn't as good as Pepsi. But not as good as Pepsi. No, Pepsi burnt. Well, no, I thought Pepsi was better than Coke. I said Coke is not as good as Pepsi. Oh, okay. Yes, exactly. So one of these days, <laughs> may maybe we'll... I broke tin foil. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it happens. All right, and so next to it, we're going to put in the blast furnace. And this is another 3x3 three three structure with a complete bottom and a hollow center. Oh crud, did I? I can jump over here. And jump up here. And for this one though, we are actually going to put lava in the center of it. And what this does is it increases the heat ability of the oven. 
Is that a technical term? The heatability? Heatability. Um, the, 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 there, there's a better word. I just can't think of it. The heat tolerance, the heat, um, basically how hot it gets when it's working. Yeah, chuckle at that. I'm sorry, no, I was just clearing my throat. Uh-huh. All right, and there we go. We got the texture for the window on our blast furnace. And, of course, I said I need to get everything together beforehand. And I don't have everything I need. So what we're going to do is now show you exactly what this is used for. I need to get off the bat to make a mining drill. We're going to need three. No, we're going to need five. And is it refined iron? Steel ingot. I know. Steel ingot. Ingot. It's always fun to listen to ten pronounced words. Iron ingot. Bananas. Banane. I got to use the word bollocks this morning. What did you do? I, I was watching someone's uh, YouTube stream, and as a lot of people that play... Uh, Minecraft are, they were British. So, I, uh, I, uh, I posted to their, uh, I replied to their video saying that it's, it's fun to watch them because when they run through a level, it's all bollocks to the wall. I thought it was appropriate since, you know, they're British and stuff. So I said five. We're going to need three in the macerator. And that's going to take a second. So while that's macerating iron ore. We're going to run back over to the coke oven over here and basically show you how the coke oven works. It's fairly simple. You put coal in. <laughs> so I'm going to make 16 coke for now and it takes a long time to make coke. Um, and the byproducts of making coke is uh, creosote oil. And the only place you can use creosote Creosote oil is in railcraft making rails. I have not find, found any other, except for making energy. You can make rails in energy. But other than that, I have not found any uses for them. Oh, wait, I need to grab some Coke. Uh, Coke. Yeah, Mike's Hard Lemonade. It was satisfying. You, you have a Mike's Hard Lemonade? I have them left. You, you didn't offer me a Hornsby? Um, I was going to have a Hornsby. <laughs> You're not going to offer me two Hornsby's? <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, Master. I forgot to ask you if your needs were sated before it's trying all, to fulfill my own. It's all in the handbook. <sighs> Goodness gracious, we still have not made a single Coke yet. It's the handbook. But <laughs> it's but like the roommate agreement. It never ends. <laughs> Um, right, so this is going to take a while. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, you know what, while that's working, do I have everything else I need to make a mining drill? Mining drill. Search me. Alright, we know how to make batteries, we know how to make electronic circuits, so, um... Do we now? Is that going to take forever? Yes. That's going to take forever. Alright, so... I was right. I even made up the answer. Yeah, you're usually right. I get my 1%, though. I get to be Which right Which is why he always tells me no, and then he finds out that I was right in the first place. Well, of course. Because the woman's always right, but it is the man's position to try to be. Um, I like sure. That. I like that. Of course, we've got floating farm plots. I'm, I'm not going to get into my OCD there. Are you talking about my farm plots near the village? Yes, your cornfield. My cornfield is the bomb, leave it alone. Okay. It's not right. my fault, you're jealous of it. I, I am highly jealous of it. At some point, we really need to automate the uh, pig and cow farms so we, we don't have to be audience to things dying. Alright, so I mentioned earlier, first on in the video, that I sort of cheated, and I did. I went online, and I did a Google for how to find 
slime chunks. And there, there's a few ways to do it. Okay, let's absolve you of any sin first. Okay. You did not sort of go online and look up how to create your own slime chunk. You no. got frustrated that you couldn't find slimes. Yes. So you're you're loving and caring and kind of sad to see you bummed out. Wife said, why don't you Google it, dear? Okay, so I Googled it. And I found out that you, you can mine around and randomly find slime chunks. Or you can go to this really nifty webpage and plug in your seed and it gives you this map and it shows you every single chunk on your map that should be a slime chunk up to a certain distance from the spawn point. And I conveniently found this, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, this, uh, these six chunks that are all connected, share a side, that are all slime chunks. And I dug out this area, the, w hall, the wall is three tall, the walls are three tall, the, win the ceiling is at a height of three, so that slimes can uh, spawn in here. And got this all dug out. No slime spawned. I was feeling really bummed still. Ran upstairs to uh, deposit all the cobblestone and, and sand and dirt that I had picked up. And came back down, and this place was full of slimes, which made me very happy. And I got the slimes, was able to make the uh, magma creams, and finish the industrial furnace, as you all saw a moment ago. Yeah, so this is going to turn into our mob grinder slash, well, mob grinder. And the cool thing is, since it is in slime chunks, slime should be included in with those mobs. And we'll get a chunk loader or something put out here so that we can just get um, gunpowder and arrows and bones for days. Because for automated farms, we're going to need lots of bones. Alrighty. Hello, and apparently cows. it's just important to make them for days. Yes. Or to have them for days. Not to make them for days. That would be boring. How would you get out? Do you have anything useful? Nope. Mm, oh. Oh, he wants a written book for an emerald. Yeah. That might be doable. I need mine all. Well, I, I don't think it's a big deal. I'd probably just put, like, L in a book, and it becomes a written book. Alrighty, so your mining office is in the ravine? Yes. Okay. Oh, this might end poorly. Wow! What? Uh, I, I just, I sort of got down to one heart. Did you jump off the side of the ravine? And miss the water? Yes. I'm going to make this a bigger pool. Really? Yes, because I don't want to die. Why don't you go down the safe routes instead? There is no safe route. There are lots of safe routes! I don't like dying. You're gonna flood... No, I'm not gonna flood anything, sweetheart. Why do you always assume I'm gonna mess something up? Oh look, I'm flooding. Really? So do you like my mining office that you're flooding? Um, the well, mining office didn't get flooded. It's watertight. Even, oh nice, it has a yard. Alright, so Eslis has been doing some mining. And, um, she set up a mining office. Oh, it's got a sign. What's the sign say? Mining office, shut the door behind you. Because clearly the husband has an issue with, uh, shutting doors. And creepers. Creepers can't open doors. No, you leave them open for the creepers. Well, yeah, of course. Cool. And it's a very simple uh, three by three house. Just enough for a bed, a furnace, and a work table. Because that's all yes. I really need down here. Starts with the sea, ends with rafting table. <laughs> so where are you? I'm digging. Okay. Where are you? I am heading back to Tinco. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do a time skip. Because y'all don't want to watch me 
climb a waterfall and run all the way back up to Tinko. So apparently, milkshakes bring the boys to the yard. However, they do not keep them there. Just to let Jennifer Lopez know. It's Jennifer Lopez, right? Um. Uh, I don't know. I, I will look that up. Um. <laughs> non sequitur. All right, and we are back in Tinco now. Uh, no, it was not J Lo. It was Kellis. And evidently, while I was running up here to uh, get back to Tinco, Eslis decided to enlighten me why she happened to come up with that little tidbit of knowledge. Because you came down to my yard. Yes, I came to her yard. My my mining company yard. Yes. But you didn't stay. No, I didn't stay. And there there was no milkshake though. Can I make? Plates in a compressor. Oh, oh, sadness. Mining drill. I have crude oil, and I have something called cinnabar. Okay. I'm not sure what cinnabar is for. And I've got sapphires. Okay, so either you make a rolling machine or a plate bending machine. And uranium. Uranium is fun. And iron ingots. Uh, it looks like my only option. Yeah, alright, so let's see which one's easier to make. Rolling machine, we'll take some pistons, a crafting bench, and iron. I think that might be the winner right there. And a plate bending machine. Yeah, conveyor module, aluminum plate, a oh, refined iron plate. Yeah, we're we're gonna make that first thing that I mentioned. What was the first thing I mentioned? Plate bending. No, the one before that. Um, I mentioned cinnabar. <laughs> yes, you did. Um, I have no idea. Okay, mining drill. My memory's good. It is plate bending machine. You right. told me not the plate bending. Was it not the plate bending? Plate bending machine. Yeah, it's not the plate bending machine. Dad gummit. Mining drill. I hope you all find this interesting. Rolling machine. Rolling machine. Alright. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep them still a rolling. Rolling. Rolling machine. Alright, I need to make a pistol. This is going to be embarrassing. Okay, cobblestone, wood, 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 iron, redstone. I can make this. So for all of y'all who are completely confused by this, yeah, we don't know either. I looked it up. Do I have cobblestone here? Cobblestone. One, two, three, four. 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 I don't know why I'm doing that, because I only have to make one pad. Oh, what the heck? Redstone. Derp. Derp, derp. Derp, 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 derp. Alright, um, and then I need. One. So, for everyone keeping score on their My Little Pony Tinder drinking game. What? <laughs> what? No, 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 keep going. I want to know where this goes. <laughs> Herp derp is oh. from what? Um, well, Herp Derp, I think, no, I keep going. No, I want to know what you say about Herp Derp. Well, der derping has been around since before Derpy Doo, and Derpy Doo is the unofficial My Little Derpy Pony. Okay, so, yeah, Tinder, Tinfoil, whatever. <laughs> there are too many tin names. At least I go by tin in all of them. True. You know, some random person is going to be like, there's this guy in the SCA named Tinder? I know him. Oh my god, he's a brony! There are people who don't know that. Uh, I'm sure there are. <laughs> like they would challenge you, though. Yeah, no. Tinfoil is 6'3", 
and throws a mean shot. Yeah, so... <laughs> Personal lifetime with Essless and Tinder. I'm Tinder. And I'm Essless. Right, so we participate in a, um, a group of people called the SCA, the Society for... Huh? It's Medieval Recreation Society. Yes. We, uh... Everything Don't from eat. brewing beer, making cheese, and hitting each other with swords. We do Lots not of fun. Reenact. We do not reenact now. That yeah. We recreate. There's a difference. If anyone would like me to expound upon the difference, I can. Today is not the day though. I put iron dust in the extractor and it did nothing. Right, so um yeah, in the SCA, so we, we don full metal armor and hit each other with uh one inch dowels that are covered in duct tape so they don't um, shatter and hurt people. Um, yeah, so throwing a mean shot, I honestly throw shots at people. So, people questioning uh, Tinfoil's propensity to love My Little Pony ain't gonna really happen. No. It was quite amusing. We were, uh, so, if not everyone knows, um, Build-A-Bear Factory had My Little Pony for a little while. In fact, they started off with Pinkie Pie? Was it just Pinkie Pie? I don't know. I okay. don't pay attention to My Little Pony. Okay, so I think they started off with Pinkie Pie, and that was it. And uh, now they've got Twilight Sparkle um, in all her glory. She's got her wings and her horn. Um... Yes, it's Princess Twilight Sparkle. It is Princess Twilight Sparkle now. Uh, but we found out two interesting things when we were at the mall the other day. And they are that uh, they'll be coming back with Pinkie Pie. And they're also going to have Essless's favorite uh, pony, which is... Fluttershy. Oh, I know nothing about My Little Pony. I don't care. I'm a girl. I'm allowed to like my little pony. That's true. It's in my rule book. Oh, poopy do. Sad new My Little Pony. Huh? Sad to new My Little Pony. <laughs> no. What the, happened? The uh, the rolling machine takes MJs instead of EUs, and my entire setup is for EUs. So now I need to get an engine, um, redstone engine. Piston. I need more pistons. Oh my gosh. Right, so I honestly thought I had everything together. I don't. One, two, three, four. Iron. One, two, one, two, one, two. Take two pistons. I need glass. Do I have any glass ready? Actually, it's going to be in building materials, which is down here. And I do have glass. Good. And to make one of these, I need glass, wood, wooden gears. Right, so we are going to steal the wooden gears from what was going to be the starts of diamond gears. And we need one, two, oh crap, I need two more. They're not difficult to make. We'll make some more later. Uh, two glass. One, two, three. Alright, so the cool thing about Sterling Engine, or Redstone Engine, is that you need nothing more than a Redstone Signal. And I'm going to make a switch, actually. Uh, I have a cobblestone. Not a problem. Alright, so cobblestone and a stick. And a stick will make me a lever. And over here, we're going to grab our, stone, our redstone engines, and we're going to put one there, and one there, and I only made one lever. I cannot put it on top, dang it. Alright. Wait, I don't have to go all the way back there. Oh. <sighs> 
Four. Again, A. Alright, turn those suckers on. So they're going to start pumping in energy. And one, two, three, four. Oh, here we go. In the Tinnaverse of energy. Why are these guys not pumping energy in? Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. What? This is going to take... Oh, click to craft. Where's all the energy going? Into my friendship factory. Wah! Okay. I'm directly underneath the city. Nice. Um, I think it's a Sterling engine that takes. <laughs> How dark is it? Dark. Alright, so... Um, I can't sleep. I'm way too far away from the mining office. That's fine. I'm going to work through the night. My doors are closed. I've got my volume up. Right, so... Um, these redstone engines are no more. We're going to use a Sterling engine, which takes coal. And I'm going to need some more... I'm going to need some more... Uh, glass. Alright, so four sticks, top, bottom, left, right. I think we went over that last time. That'll make a wooden gear. And then basically to upgrade your gears, put your previous level gear in the center, and then put the next material in the top, bottom, left, right. So to upgrade to stone gears, we put the stone in the top, bottom, left, right. And if we were going to go on to make a iron, we put the stone there and then iron in the top, bottom, left, right. But we only need the stone for this one. And I need glass and what else? Pistons. I don't have pistons. Goodness gracious. Do I have iron on me? I have steel. I have plenty of iron there. Okay. Uh, I have redstone. Glass. That's what I need. I'm going to take all the glass. Okay. So, here's the world. Who can say it's a very nice world? Hound. It's big as hound. Did not say big? Oh, uh, sorry. Is it not a big world? Only here. It's a small world after. Alright, so pistons, a little bit of wood. Not steel, iron. A little bit of iron, a little bit of redstone. A little bit of cobblestone. And we put these guys there. And we put one, two. What am I missing? Three and four. I know this answer. Alright, Sterling Engine. Yay! One, two, three. Alright, two Sterling Engines now. Now, for the engines, you still have to have a... Uh, still hmm. have to have a switch on them. Oh. To turn them on and off. I thought the right answer was pony. I was getting excited. And inside the Sterling Engine, you put coal. And then you turn them on. And now, yeah, check that out. It's pumping right along. Makes me happy. But I need to make two more steel. Okay, I don't see any baddies over here. It's pretty dark here. Alright, fix that. The Coke machine's still going. Two more of those. Cold Coke. Alrighty. 
How's that going? Ten coke and five buckets of creosote oil. Well, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm done, no, 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 I am cooking pig. That's what I'm doing. I am hiding in my house. Can you sleep? Uh, I can now. Let's sleep. Lullaby and goodnight. Go to sleep, little assless. Now wake up. Alright, four steel plates. We win. Alright, so I can only make steel plates in sets of four right now. Even though I only need one, two, three, four, five. I found silver, aluminium, aluminium, morton. Yes. I've never Gold. heard of morton. More ten. Never heard lead. Of yeah, don't don't lick the lead. No, that didn't work out so well last time. No, that's a mighty expensive doctor bill too. I think this is where the industrial blast furnace is going to go. Or it might go over. Actually, I think the industrial blast furnace will go in the corner over here. And that way, the power will come in from Tinco through that right there. Yeah. We're going to have power problems at some point. That's not good. No. It's going to require making some really cool tools and going to the nether. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is set up a liquid pump to pump lava from the nether into buckets uh, using a liquid transposer and then having pipes into an ender chest and then that ender chest will go to the overworld here and those buckets will come out of the ender chest and go into a big tank up here and then we'll have a... Uh, Magmatic, uh, magmatic engine or magmatic furnace, magmatic generator. We have two uraniums now. Cool. Actually, three. We've got one upstairs. Score. Do I still have to click this? Yes. Click to. There we go. Uh, uranium. Your three plus my nine. <sighs> what? Let me tell you how I've all done you again. How do you? Uh huh. Why are you flashing red? Because I'm a redhead, dear. Oh, okay. And everything they say about redheads, so true. Alright, so I need a chip thingy. Which means I'm going to need some copper. Bauxite, aluminum, lead, galena, silver. I was about to be really upset if I had no copper. Keep going there. One, two, three, one, two, three. You dancing up there? Uh, no. But, uh, we're gonna do another time skip. I'm gonna go ahead and put together a uh, circuit and a battery, and we'll be right back. And we're back. Um, you do too. How I do oh, Esla says I know everything because I just showed her how to turn on the NEI highlight tips. So when you look at something, it tells you what it is in your corner. I turn that on every now and then because when I'm deep in a mine, um, what is the the horrible blue stuff? This stuff right here, nickelite. Nickelite looks like diamonds in the dark. But um, yeah, I just showed her how to turn that on so she can see if what she's looking at is diamonds or not. And I hope they're diamonds, because diamonds are cool. We always need diamonds. But, I have finished everything we needed. So we created the steel in the blast furnace, then put the steel into the machine that I put it into earlier, and made steel plates. And we know how to make an electronic circuit and an RE battery. And we now have a mining drill. Yay! Mining drills make me happy. And mining drill... 
Something sucking energy. Oh, I got the... Yeah. So, you can put the mining drill into your bat box, or your MFE, and it will charge up. Mm -hmm. I was saying bat box. Oh, yes, bat box. And now, I can take this mining drill and mine with it. And it's about as fast as a uh, iron pickaxe is. Um, I don't think it does... I'm not sure if the uh, regular mining drill will do obsidian or not. But we plan on upgrading this to the diamond mining drill. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. The mining diamond mining drill is awesome. Okay. Diamond. Mining. It's trying to get dark. Do what? I said it's starting to get dark. Yes. Um, why isn't the diamond mining drill showing up? There it is. Diamond drill. Oh, because it doesn't have the word mining in it. Right, so diamond drill. Oh. What? Oh. What? We are a bit away from making titanium. To make a diamond drill, I need titanium. We're and not we're that far away. From making titanium? All I have to do is learn how to um, do that kind of alchemy. alchemy. Okay. Um, cool. You need to get with the research. <laughs> um, I need stuff. What do you need? There's plenty of stuff up in the uh, tin cow. I have stuff now. Alright, so industrial blast furnace. Um, I'm going to need a... Actually, I think steel machine hole is going to be the easiest thing to do. Never mind, because we don't have an assembling machine at the moment. Maybe it's advanced oh, machine says, I, I'm sorry. I promised I would not yawn anymore. Carbon plate machine block. Right, so... I'm going to have to do some research to make our industrial blast furnace so that we can make... Um, ooh, it's dark out. To make... Uh, titanium. Because we're going to need an industrial grinder, industrial blast furnace, and... Um, yeah, that's going to take some planning. But uh, we'll do it. We'll get there. We're awesome. Uh, we've got the mining drill. Woohoo! Yeah. We can mine now. And, uh, hang on, let me use my cheat sheet. Let's see here. We have Coke Oven Blast Furnace Mining Drill. Next thing on the list was Quarry, but I think we're going to skip that and do the Tinco sign before then. And I'm going to help out Eslis get some materials together so that she can do some researching. And, uh, yeah. Hammer's Reach, Wife vs. Ban. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Like if you did, uh, comment if you want to talk about it, and subscribe if you want to see more. And no tomatoes if you don't like it, because that'll short out your computer. Yes, you don't want to short your computer out. Those are expensive. Yeah. Bye.